Hello, in this video I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to set up your Samsung Galaxy A26. So if you've just gotten your Samsung Galaxy A26, then you can see here um, that you need to go through the setup and I'm gonna do a full tutorial on it. So you just have everything done and don't have to worry about anything. So let's begin by uh, clicking on start. And at first it'll say um, to select the language so we can do it now. Then click on next and if you want and most probably you do, you can enter a SIM card right here. So in order to do it, you'll need to use a pin, needle or anything else, like the SIM card tray opener included in the box, to put into that hole right here. Then the SDN SIM card tray will pop out and you can enter either your SIM or SD. I think that you can uh, even en insert two SIMs so you can either get one SIM, one SD or two SIM cards right here and then enter, insert it into your phone. I'm just gonna click on OK. And it also asks you if you want to connect to the mobile network. So if you do, turn that on. Now let's continue. I'm not gonna use a SIM card. Then mm, here you need to agree to the end user license agreement and the diagnostic data is optional. Let's click on next. And now you can set up using another device. And setting up using another device will let you transfer different data like settings, Wi-Fi network, uh, files or apps, photos, everything that you want. And if you skip it now, then it will still be available uh, because there is, uh, there is the um, Smart Switch app. I believe that's what it's called on Samsung and you can use it whenever you want so you can transfer it even post setup. I'm gonna skip that and set up manually. Then choose a Wi-Fi network. I think you can skip Wi-Fi but um, I'm gonna connect so I can set up everything at the beginning because it will need, be needed for a few uh, further steps. So let's enter the password and if it was correct, it'll say connected and go automatically into the next step. Now, just wait until uh, the getting your phone ready process gets finished and after that, I'll get back to you. Now it asks me again if I wanna copy apps and data, so I'm gonna click on don't copy. But if you don't know how to copy, you can um, watch a video on our channel on how to transfer files from a previous device onto Samsung Galaxy A26. Now sign into Google account. And you can choose whether or not to do it. I would recommend doing that because Without it, you can access um, you can access the um, Play Store, which is gonna be important since Play Store allows us download, to download apps. And also, you won't have access to Find My Device service. The Find My Device lets you track your device's location if it got lost or stolen by simply opening the web app um, and signing into Google or opening that app on any other uh, device that you have you can just go to website or app, whatever, and you can track it. You can play a sound if it's near you, but you can find it um, somewhere. Or you can erase it if it got stolen, so no one can unlock it. And I'm gonna log into the Google account. I already have it, but if you don't, you can create an account. Or if you really don't wanna sign in, you can skip it. Then just enter the password, which I'm gonna do off camera. And now select whether you or your child will be using this device. And if you select that your child will be using it, then probably the next steps will vary just a bit. 
but most probably you're setting it up for your own. So that's what I'm gonna select. I think it's more universal. And now you need to agree to Google Terms of Service, Google Play Terms of Service and the privacy policy, which are required. You need to agree to them in order to add the Google account. Now it asks you to set up either uh, face unlocking, fingerprints and the pattern, pin or password. And of course you can skip it, but I wouldn't recommend skipping it because it lets anyone else besides you access your phone unwanted. So what I would recommend is setting at least a pattern, pin or password. And also for enhanced um, convenience, you can add a fingerprint. Although I wouldn't recommend setting up the face unlocking since I find it pretty unsecure. You can see that this phone only bases on the camera. There are phones on the market that base on uh, the IR sensors, but this one doesn't belong to that group. So your phone can be unlocked with a photo of you or by someone who looks similar to you. And I'm gonna set up fingerprints, which means that I'll set up both fingerprint and one of the unlocking methods like pattern, pin or password. So I'm gonna click on fingerprints, then pin fingerprints, password fingerprints, or pattern fingerprints. I'm gonna select the pattern, and here you just need to connect at least four dots. Make sure that it's something that you can remember, but also something that's hard enough to guess. And um, um, why I'm telling you about this, uh, it's because uh, if you forget your pattern, then it's gonna be not so good. If you forget your pin, password, pattern, whatever, it's, uh, you can only restore your phone by erasing all its content. So I wouldn't recommend forgetting your pin, pattern or password. Make sure that you do your best to not forget it. And uh, also uh, just make sure that it's something that isn't so easy to guess like 0000, zero, zero, zero or 1234. I'm setting it to something pretty simple, but you can mess around with it, but make sure you'll forget it. If you need, write it down, but make sure you store it in a secure place. Mm, then uh, I'm just gonna come next. And now let's continue um, with registering the fingerprint and uh, the fingerprint sensor is on the power button so i'm gonna hold my whole phone in a right hand because i'm right-handed and if you're left-handed then most probably you'll use your left hand index finger or left hand middle finger so click on register then place your finger on the fingerprint sensor and release um, or um, or you can just tap and move it it's actually, I think, a better way. On this phone, it is recommended to actually not lift it. Then click on Next. And now you can test your fingerprint. Just tap it, and it was recognized, so I can click on Done. Mm, and then I'm gonna click on Continue. And review the services. And I highly recommend reviewing them on your own, reading everything what's written and deciding on your own. You don't really have to agree to all of these things. Then it's about backup and you can unselect any of those or just don't backup at all. But I would highly recommend turning on the backup so you don't lose your data in, in case something happens to your phone. Then I think this question is only asked um, in European Union to choose your browser and search engine. Just click on next and select a browser. If you don't know which one to choose, I think that Google Chrome is the most default option but I'm gonna uh, give you my recommendations so you can choose whichever one you like. 
Um, of course, if you want to choose something that isn't in my recommendations, also feel free to. But um, I would highly recommend the Opera browser, Google Chrome, Brave and Firefox. I'm gonna choose Google Chrome myself and set it as default. Then the search engine, I would only recommend Google, but feel free to test out whichever one you'd like. Now, it tells you about Gemini. Gemini is your AI assistant. It replaces Google Assistant that was there previously, but it has much larger capabilities. It's just sort of like ChatGPT, but um, embedded into your phone with a different name and um, can not only give you answers like ChatGPT does, but can also do things for you, um, like, for example, check the weather, weather or um, add an event to your calendar and so on. And what you can do here is just continue. And then it asks you if you want to use Gemini hands-free. And what it means is you can um, say, hey, Google out loud, and it will open Gemini without you needing to press any button. So I'm gonna turn that on. Then it asks you if you want to sign in with Samsung account. And although Samsung account will be quite um, useful for a few things, I don't really need, think that it is necessary. So personally, I'm gonna skip it. If you want, you can sign in, but I don't find it that useful. So I'm just gonna click on forgot password or don't have an account, set up later in settings and skip. Then I'm gonna agree to terms and conditions and optionally, you can mm, turn on customization service, get news and special offers, which I'm gonna turn off, and improve personalized ads, which I'm also gonna turn off. Then click on agree. Now, uh, you can also enable a few more services, which I traditionally just recommend reading on your own and deciding on your own. Then choose your display mode, either light or dark. I'm gonna choose the light one and click on next. Now it also asks you if you want to get some recommended apps so you can get them, but I don't really want to. So let's just click on next. I don't really know if it's gonna up install it without my consent. Mm, it's always just a mystery. So um, I'm gonna click on home. And then um, let's continue, I guess. And no, let's unselect everything. I don't want bloatware on my phone, sorry. Then finish. And your phone is all set up. If you wanna learn more about the first things to do after setup, you can watch my video on the first things to do after setup on this phone. Uh, it may help you with a few things to get started and to have everything behind you. Um, but uh, everything that's necessary was just done. And that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.